Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. Sometimes I get questions about there's just too many dimensions for what you like to do, use in your design. If you wanted to modify that, all you have to do is double click on the floor plan. It will open up something called display settings. We're going to go to dimensions. I'm going to scroll down to auto dimension and see where it says there's a check mark I should say shows next to auto dimension. I am going to click on that twice to turn it off. Watch what happens when I hit apply. All of my dimensions are gone. If I click on the plus next to general and I simply put a check mark next to construction and I hit apply, it will actually put in the basic dimensions for my room, my walls and all my windows and doors. That's what I like to use when I'm designing. So if you want to modify the dimensions, you can play around with these, set them up any way you want. As I like to do it, I turn everything off. I go to general and I simply go to construction elements, turn those on, I hit apply to save it to my screen. Now let me show you how to save it permanently. If I click save as, I'm going to type in a name. I'm going to say John's settings. I'll click save. Now when I close out of here, if I start a brand new kitchen, it will go back to the old settings. Only this kitchen has new settings. But if I go to file, preferences, and I go to display tab schemes, see right here where it says all? If I click on the arrow over here on the right hand side and scroll all the way down and choose John settings and I click OK, I have told my 2020 that every kitchen I do from now on will automatically have the settings that I like. So you can go in and set the colors, the fonts, everything you want, even if you're just taking basic dimensions, set it up so that you never have to modify it again. For other great ideas, tips, and inspiration, please join us at 2020spaces.com forward slash community.